I've had a lot of questions on how to make cordage from daylilies and I thought I'd make this video to show you just how easy it is. This cordage was all made with green leaves and this with brown and yellow. So the first step is to cut your daylilies and I take a straight pin, put it in the middle, pull it up, pull it down, and cut the leaf in half. I take those leaves and I set them out on newspaper and let them dry out. And that may take several days. And then you're, you've got these dried and crunchy leaves. I don't work with them when they're this dry. I take some that are softer, I wrap them in a wet towel and get them to be pliable again. So then I take a hank of them, I'm going to just take a few out of here, I bend it in half, and twist it, then I'll start twisting this one on the right, and I'll twist the one on the left. And you've got them. And then you'll bend right over left. Continue to twist both of them to the right, then fold them, kind of braiding them right over left. Now of course you're trying to keep these ends from sticking out but they will. So I just cut it off. The goal is to try and have an equal size bundle on each side. So sometimes you have to add one. I'm going to take one and put it behind and then I'm going to twist to the right to include that new one. And I'm going to move this one down and fold it over and twist that to the right and that includes the end of the new one on the other side. And then again I fold it over right over left. Now when this is done, even though these leaves seem like they'd be really fragile, this is a really strong cord and uh, you can use it in basket weaving like you would use seagrass. So if you're like me and you have a whole yard full of daylily leaves, uh, this is a great thing to do with them.